Hi everyone, here's what's bothering me today. Can we just finally be done with Amazon? Because what they're doing in Bessemer, Alabama is increasingly infuriating and increasingly disturbing. Lots of people, I'm hoping, will remember how a while ago, not only did they just pressure all the employees to try and vote no and putting anti-union propaganda everywhere in their warehouses, but also pressuring the city, the municipality into changing the traffic light so that people would not be able to stop and chat with workers about unionizing. That's already some Skynet level shit, but it gets so much worse. There is now brand new, relatively breaking news, if you want to call it that, that shows that Amazon pressured the United States Postal Service into providing a drop box outside of a fulfillment center or a warehouse or whatever, and hoping to stuff it full of no votes while they were pressuring people to vote no on the union. Amazon has done so much egregious crap that if this union vote in Alabama turns out to be no, there's still a strong case for a do-over because of all the interference from Amazon and this latest breaking news of this mysterious USPS box that showed up and actual emails acquired through the Freedom of Information Act showing Amazon directly trying to pressure the USPS for a box. This is some frightening and dystopian stuff, not only just because it's Amazon and it's a terrible company, and on the one hand, if you want to take a positive away from this, this shows that they are really scared because look at how much they've had to throw at this union vote. They are scared because again, the power of labor is the only thing that can truly hold capitalists accountable. However, on the bad side, this also shows the disturbing trend of when a company gets so powerful, like Amazon for very you know clear instance, what ends up happening is that these companies, when they get so big, can influence politics. We often like to talk about a clear separation between church and state. There should also be a very clear separation between state and business. And yet, unfortunately, we don't seem to have that discussion because, oh, capitalism is great and, you know, government should be run like a business. And this is incredibly disturbing if, you know, these companies like Amazon can get so big that they can start to influence municipal elections because people want to bring in the Amazon facility or the new Walmart or the new corporate headquarters or whatever it may be, new Boeing facility everyone suddenly wants to bring in potential jobs and they're willing to throw labor rights and unions under the bus because, oh, we just, we just need that business because our small towns are dying because of big business. And then these other companies like Amazon can get the cities to change the lights so that it affects their traffic flow better or it prevents uh, employees from being able to talk about unionizing. They can make it so that now, oh, we're going to have the U.S. Postal Service put boxes where we want them to, whether it's uh, if we want people to vote yes for something or to vote no for something, and they're going to be sure to make it happen because we are the big business. We're the ones actually in control, not the government, which should terrify everyone. If you believe in the separation of church and state, then you probably also likely believe in the separation of state and business. And this is something that everyone should get behind because if the state is replaced by business interests, much as the ANCAPs like to think that that's going to solve all the world's problems, as we're already seeing, it's not. And we even have history of company towns in the 1800s and how that was a goddamn gong show. Having these businesses become as powerful, if not more powerful than governments, to the point that they can make government entities do work for them that benefits them and not the people that the governments are supposed to represent, 
That is undemocratic. And in nations like America that claim to love democracy, no one should stand for it. And the fact that this continues to this day and people aren't even having this conversation about the separation of state and business is definitely what's bothering me today.